All right, party people, this is your host with the most, Mr. Ron. And the incredible G-Man, the hip-hop purist. That's right, always bringing 100% purity. And knowledge. And today we're going to go back to, way back to 1984 Ooh. with the world-famous Supreme Team with the song, the historically song called ADJ. And it was from the album, the only album they had called Rapping. Hit it, Ron. As far as originality, we're going back to the world's famous Supreme Team only album called Rapping in 84. That's right. They had this, the first single was released that was Hey DJ. Classic. Classic material. And for originality, these guys, they were an American hip-hop radio show crew before recording. They had a pioneering radio show in 1979 on WHBI FM 105.9 in Newark, New Jersey. And it featured Jersey. Mr. Magic. Mr. Oh, Magic. I, I, so, so Mr. Magic is from Jersey? Uh, I don't know if he's from Jersey. Well, he started but in Jersey. He started in New Jersey before he went to host the first rap Radio show on a major station. That's another story. And Mr. Magic will be later be the founder of the Juice Crew. Yep. So and that crew they rose to prominence when the punk impresario Marco McLaren recruited two of the members from the radio show to sample the radio show footage, footage to do the hit single called Buffalo Girls in '82. It was like a fusion of rap <clears throat> beginning and everything and the rest is history they went to record their own record and single hey dj and all this for originality for me it was hard to size up yeah and me too. Me too. so that's why i give it a three. Oh, okay okay so uh you're doing your thing so i will tell you i totally agree with you this song was very difficult to raise um i know it's original I know it's dope. Back but in 84 why? it was, you know. Well, not only back in 84, even now in mm -hmm. 2019, you know, I feel, I still think that that song, you know, rocks, okay. you know, still. Um, however, it's very difficult to pinpoint on what level, okay? So how is it dope? How is it original? Um, it's very hard to say. It's very, yeah. very difficult to say. What so, did you rate it? I, I gave it a three. Oh. I gave it a three because it has this classic feel to it. Okay. You know, I could bump into it like wherever I want to. And not only that, I think it's also one of those tracks that speaks to everyone. Yeah. yeah. So that's why, for these reasons, I give it a three. So now let's hit for delivery, flow, and lyrics. People, <sighs> the incredible G Man has a first rating of one. Oh! I give it a one. I give it a one. They weren't rappers. The lyrics part was not their strong part at all. The hook was the real lyrics of the song. Yeah, definitely. That's what you hey, remember. Hey, DJ, you know, that's what you remember. That's, that's you why remember. it's called a hook, you know? Not only you remember the hook and the keys. And the girl's voice, it was so perfect, magical, you know? And for Hip Hop Quotable, courtesy of Genius.com, where that's I get right. my info, and that's what I found, what was the best part. Hey DJ, I must confess, you're quicker than sugary, and then when you mix with your arms, your hair, your mouth, knees, and feet, boy, you're smoother than Dr. G. You didn't come to the party in a limousine. Yes, your curd are fresh, and your rap's so mean. Nursery uh, mime to the fullest. Even that sounds terrible. You know, when you cut with your oh, hair, man. your mouth. Uh, Yo, party people, you gotta check out these weak ass lyrics, though. So I give it a one. What about you? Okay. <coughs> Sorry, I have a little bit of a cold. You know, we up in Canada. Up oh, north. And I get, yeah, we the north, we get cold up in here, you know? So I will tell you, I had another vision right um are the lyrics good not really 
but I think there are some songs their goals are not to be lyrical and I think this is definitely one of them what I mean by that is I think that the, the rapper uses his voice almost like an additional instrument okay um, and I wish I could combine the lyrics and the production together you know like delivery and the lyrics mm -hmm. uh, uh, the delivery and the production together but I can't so for delivery okay because don't forget delivery it's not just about lyrics yeah there's flow the there's voice. cadence the voice you know uh i gave it a three pretty generous because i didn't find none at all so because of that let's get to the production part That's right, the sweet production. The beat, the hook, that was the went along with the beat so perfectly. The girl's voice, hey DJ, keep me dancing. Just play that song all night long. Oh, that was internal. Until this day, this beat rocks. You could play it anywhere. New generation will feel it. They will say, hey yo, that that shit is catchy. The hook is nice. And that beat was produced by Stephen Hag. It was an American record producer that was mostly active with the British pop scenes in the 80s, like Haha, -Ha, Peter Gabriel, groups like Yay. that. So he was a hip hop uh, producer, you know? And But he used three samples that were good uh, Buffalo Girls by Michael McLaren from 82, mm -hmm. uh, the 82 Dime by Law by Fab Fab Freddy, represent. Uh. Five, 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 five ready? Yep, that my man. Really? He brought hip hop to another level. To the the first guy that brought hip hop to Manhattan, the mainstream, the art with the punk rock scenes. Blondie, he's the one that introduced Blondie to Grandmaster Flash, and she I talk just, about him in a song. I Rapture. know, I know, but I just feel like every time I see Fab Five, especially in the eighties, I feel like he's strung out on cocaine. He's like he's so lit. He was on the punk rock scene. They were kind of high people, you know? So Anyways, man. That was the first raves back then. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're you know? right, you're right, you're right. And the third sample is Atomic Dog by, and from 1982 by George, George Clinton. Clinton. That's the right. extended version mix. And for that reason, I give it a four. And by the way, all these info, courtesy of whosample.com, where you get your samples, because sample, sampling is part of the history of rap. That's right, that's right. So I gave it a four. What about you? Alright, so, um, okay. I'm actually, I totally agree with you. Um, the production makes the track. Uh, the hook makes the track. And I, like I said previously, the voice makes the track also. Um, because again, uh, not to sound, you know, like I'm like a broken record and repeating what I said, but I really think that the rapper's voice is used more like a like an instrument and not really as, you know, because all of these lyrics are just forgettable, <laughs> just forgettable. It's and you wait for the hook. And if you look at the song, there are two very small verses. Mm -hmm. Two very short verses. So I think that the guy kind of like knew, you know, that the emphasis is on the beat, the beat is on the hook. production. Yes, so for this that. reason, I give it a 4.5. That's pretty fair, pretty fair. You know, so, so far people, he's the one giving that post today. Hey, you know what? You gotta give credit where credit is due. That's how I see it. Now we at the fourth uh, rating as relevance longevity. For this yeah. track, uh, a dancing song about DJs by DJs that lasted through time and popularized the term Hey DJ. It was and is still used in music until today. True they that, have to give a prop that, to a that, DJ. So, uh, how can I elaborate more of that? You know, everyone refers to the DJ and it started. At a point, it was forgotten the DJ, but it came back. You know, everybody got. Everybody has to needs the DJ, you know, like for example, I remember in, two, uh, in the last few years, Wally, he had to bring back his hype, so he used 8-track, he did a yeah. mixtape with 8-track, a famous producer, DJ, you know, 
Just yeah, yeah, everybody yeah. goes and get a DJ yeah, once in a while, you know. Festivus, that's it. You so, were Seinfeld fan. You know, yes, the, it Seinfeld was Tyre Seinfeld's the reference, they were. So it was really great. So the DJ has always been part of hip hop. And because of that, I give it a five for relevance for I that knew song. It. I knew it. You know? I knew it, party people. I knew it. <laughs> this guy cannot stop giving out fives to wow. everything and everyone. I knew wow. it. It's the first five out of three ratings in the song. The first two were horrible, like the lyrics. And how many are you going to give out today? You know? You're just like handing out fives. That's, that's okay, because that's what you do. Whatever, that's what you man. do every day, all day. Give out fives. That's why I'm here. Red man, I feel you when you say whatever, man. <laughs> that's why I'm here. So what did you do for relevance and longevity? I will tell you, a few years ago, about two years ago, I mean, that's at, you know, daytime barbie because, you know, I'm old, man. I don't sleep out till like, I don't go out till 3 o'clock in the morning anymore. So I'm at this like Sunday daytime party, you know, with other peers of my old age. And we're just rocking and this song comes on. Everybody went wild. And I was like, I thought I was the only one that dug this song, no, you no. know? People went crazy, you know, and to me, it's an example, a living example that, yes, this song is still relevant, it still grooves, and for that reason, I'm going to give it a three. A three? Yeah. Incredible. Yeah. He gives all these props, all these references that he give out with a three. You don't have to talk that much if you give it a three. <laughs> well, it's you know what? It's still a song from 1984. Yeah, but you must you, know, be, still, you must remove that factor. It doesn't, you know, it's not because it's from 84. Three is still a good grade. Well, three is still a whatever above, man. It's still an above than average grade. Whatever man. As for impact. I'll let you start with impact since I oh, give up on the cannon. Yes. So, um, you know what? I'm not gonna front. Mm -hmm. I've been talking all that jazz about this song, and for impact, I give it a four. Yeah, pretty fair. Pretty fair. Yeah, for a simple reason. Uh, and I know you're going to come up with a number because that song has been sampled so many times. And there are Exactly. It was sampled song. 37 songs sampled that over the years. 37, 37. See, only a nerd would know that. See? So, again, to me, I could tell you two. There's Myra Carey and... Oh, honey? Um, yeah, and a group that no one likes except me called Lighter Shade of Brown that we will be reviewing later on. How we will review ahead, guys. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I know it's it's been sampled a lot. Um, and for some reason, it's it's like a, a, a... It's an homage to the DJ. Yeah. And to me, I feel like... You know that song last night, The DJ Saved My Life? Yeah. To me, I feel like it's a hip hop version of last night. Yes, that's true. Last night, the DJ same. That was a disco song. That's right. That's right. true. It's like a follow up, you know. And well, I think last night the DJ saved my life was first. Yes, because but disco didn't last. That's why I mean the hip hop version. This where disco died with the days, you know. And me, what I would say when I'm with the numbers, the hip hop purists, the knowledgeable guy between us two. Uh, sample 35, 37 times, like Honey, like he mentioned, Maria Carey, he's, he's a Chicano group, Lighter Shade of Brown, Yo, and, but I also, love. you don't remember I Beastie love. Boys, Hey Ladies, oh, that's where, uh, it's oh, instead yeah. of Hey <laughs> DJ, <laughs> so they sampled that, Beastie Boys, hey, and also AZ from uh, Representative Queensborough, Hey Hey Z, the song by AZ, well, so course, he had, 
He's from Queensbridge. You do? All the rappers from Queensbridge, <laughs> you're going to support them because you're biased. No, no, you no. Know? They're ill. They're ill. It's ill. It's purest art form. And there's also Warren G. He had a song called All These D DJ B. Warren G. But he had a song to all DJs. It was called To All DJs. And many, many more. And also, it show you for impact that you didn't have to be a rapper to make great music. You could be a DJ or radio crew or a promoter manager like Puffy or JD, you know? So as long as you had creativity, you could do a, a could nice song. You, you could, could rock it. it. So that's why I give it a five. Say what now? A five. I give it a five. Again? Yeah, Is yeah. that another five, man? It's a five. I can, I can. And you talk, I had to catch up for the one. My three? You talking about my three? Well, you'll forget. I give him one for lyrics. While you, when you give three, so you see why I represent Queens Bridge rappers lyrics. So man. for my total uh, is 18 out of 25. Yo, first of all, you need therapy for hanging out those fives, <laughs> man. Uh, nah, you, know you, nah. you know you can't give a six out of five. I you know. can't give a seven out of five. I know. Five is the top. So to recap, 18 out of 25. Damn. So it comes to a total percentage of 72%. So that means our rating, it means rhyme pays 72%. So what about you? As for me, because I'm the only sane one here, <laughs> you know, I'm the only one that could think, you know, okay, so you might be a nerd and do your nerdy stuff and go get some information about how the song was sampled. Knowledge is the key. But you're just handing out those marks, you know? Well, it's before you criticize, what's your rating? I give it a four. Yeah. It's a solid four. No, no, that I know. I mean, your overall, your overall total, uh, total uh, rating. My overall uh, mm -hmm. rating is seventy percent. Okay. And for me, they got the props. They got the props. That's so right. people just, just to mention, I give out five. He doesn't give out fives, but we came out with a score: seventy percent, seventy-two percent. So what is he complaining about? It's not like yeah, well, mine makes sense. That's yeah, what but I, sense. So overall, I you got know? seventy-two. You got seventy. Yeah, that's not a big you're difference. Yeah, because you're an extremist. You like there's to go no, to the extreme. I would have understand you know? if you had fifty and I had eighty, but there's two percent. So. You know who liked to go to the extreme? A rapper called Vanilla Ice. Remember that <laughs> album to the extreme? And look what happened to him. You know, uh, ones and fives, yo. So party people. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that channel, like, That's comment, right. hit that like button, you know, subscribe, comment. you know, if you want more of this good stuff. And give us you your know. opinion about that rating or the world's famous Supreme Team. If you don't know, go check it out. It's called ADG1984. Peace and we out. Mr. Ron here. The Incredible G-Man. AKA G-Money. The Hip Hop AKA Purist. The nerd. Yeah, again, my question is, my brother, what is your purity level? Ah, uh, you will find out. I got a plenty of fives in the, for you guys. All right, buddy people. Peace and we out. Bye.